This has been an adventurous year. I have been to so many places. I have had such amazing travel experiences. I also got to learn how to surf and all this because of the kind of work that I do. So let's get started. Hi guys, I'm Chavi Agarwal. I'm a blogger, a YouTuber, a freelance writer and an online business coach. We create videos on making money online, freelancing and online businesses each and every week. So if you haven't already, you know what to do. There's a red icon right below this video. Just click on it and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon because you want to be notified each and every time a new video has been uploaded on this channel. So you know one new way of how to earn money online. The first option that I want to talk about is trying to get a remote job. So whether you are a last year college student or a person who already has a nine to five job, you have two options. The first one is to get a fully remote role. So whatever you have studied, whether it's engineering, it's law, communications, marketing, whatever you have studied, you can find a remote role for yourself. All you have to do is to go to these two websites and start looking for remote opportunities. So one of them is called remote.co and this is how it looks like. So you can filter the options via freelance. If you're looking for freelancing contract or a full time position, you can just filter the options based on that and find opportunities in the niche that you want to. The second one is angel.co. It is a great platform to find work from home opportunities and remote jobs with well-funded companies. And this is how it looks like. So you can go to angel.co and find full-time roles with companies that have a globally distributed team. If you find a role like this, you won't have to go to office and you will have a lot of time in your hand to be able to travel to the destinations that you want to. The second part of finding a remote role is to talk to your present manager or the management. You can basically approach them and pitch an idea to work, to allow you to work from home for at least one week in a month. And for that one week, you can plan your travel. All you have to take care is to get a stable internet connection so you don't miss out on your deadlines. So that is the first option. So whether you're a college student who is looking for a job or a person who's already in a job, you can look for fully remote jobs or talk to your management and look for flexible jobs, which allow you uh, to work from home a few days and to go to the office. It's called a hybrid model. So you can look for jobs that allow you to have a hybrid model of working. The second one and my favorite one is to pick up freelancing. Now there are so many options that you can pick up as a freelancer. What you, what I suggest is to jot down all of your strengths, to jot down what you have studied and what kind of work you have done and try and match them up. So for example, I'm a lawyer. I went through law school and I wrote a lot of papers. So I knew that I was good at writing. And that is why when I started freelancing, the first thing that I went and picked up was freelance writing because I knew that is one thing that I was good at and it worked out pretty well for me. Similarly, if you are, let's say, an engineer or a developer, you can look into website development or app development. If you're into sales, you can look at becoming a customer rep or uh, you can become a virtual assistant who does a lot of customer, uh, customer re uh, rep work or CRM work. So there are a lot and lot of options that you uh, are probably not aware of. But if you have a certain skill, which I'm pretty sure that all of us have, you just are, you're just yet to, uh, you know, understand what skill you have. So just jot down your strengths, jot down the education that you have, the kind of work you have done, find out the various options uh, out there. The easiest way is to go on places like freelancer and Fiverr and see the kind of services that people are offering. That will give you a very good idea on what kind of skills can be monetized. And trust me when I say this, most of the skills can be monetized very easily on the internet. Some of the best options that you can look at is to start with freelance writing, video editing, photography, a virtual assistant. These are some of the most popular jobs that you can take up as a freelancer. If you are into freelance writing, I have created a lot of videos on how you can start out as a freelance writer, how you can get um, good jobs and good gigs and how to land good paying clients as a freelance writer. You could also check out platforms like Wittypen 
and pepper content which are sort of a marketplace but they're better than fiverr and freelancer if you want to be a virtual assistant you can actually check out this new company called wing app so they work with clients who are looking for virtual assistants so they hire both virtual assistant and then um mediate between you and the client okay so they obviously they take a fee from what you are earning but you will earn a good amount of money with them and most of their freelancers most of their virtual assistants are based out of india philippines and mexico so if you're in any of these three countries wing app is actually one place wherein you should go and look for a good virtual assistant job you can find a full time va job as well as a part time va job so the third option and the best option for college going students is to look for internship in hotel and tourism industry so let's say that you were into a marketing or a communication or a ba or a any kind of um course what you can do is to reach out to newly built homestays newly built hotels newly built hostels and tell them that you can um do certain kind of work for them so video editing photography writing social media all these popular things that would help them create content or help them with uh, guests or help them grow their business any of those three things you can help them out with mention that in the email and send that to them now there are two simple ways to find out these internship opportunities one of them is to have a look at their website most of the career pages will mention if they're hiring internship in, interns for their uh, place if not all you have to do is to reach out to them via email now you can send out the email to their generic id or you can go to linkedin find out the person who might be responsible for hiring these interns in your niche so if you're a mark if you're looking into marketing then you can look at a marketing manager of that hostel or marketing manager of that uh, homestay or marketing manager of that hotel and send a linkedin message to them or grab their email and send an email to them now don't send a email saying that you want to travel and that is why you know you're looking for an internship you don't want to sound desperate Whenever you are sending an email to any of the businesses, make sure that you have highlighted why you are a good fit for them and how it will benefit them. So, for example, you know if you are sending out an email to Zostel, you are going to mention saying that you are a marketing co- college student, so you know ma- about marketing. You have an Instagram of your own, so you know Instagram, or you are good at photography and add some samples to that, and tell them that you know. when you are there you will take good photos of the events that uh, they are organizing or um, of their property or you know create a youtube video or a proper or a, or a lot of reels which will highlight how amazing their destination is how great their uh, place is to stay so that you know they will attract more customers let's say that you were uh, not into social media or not into marketing you're basically telling them you know you can intern there and you will help them with guest management making sure that every guest who comes fills in the form they have uh, their rooms their keys the cleaning has been done properly so you will make sure that there is guest management and there is a very seamless checking process out there so there are a lot of ways that you can reach out to these hotels and hostels and ensure that you know you're adding value to their process and uh, by hiring you as an intern they're going doing a good thing for their business in which case they will be they will be happy to give you a certificate they will help be happy to give you a stipend and they will also be happy to give you a place to stay along with the food so everything is covered but you have to give your time to them okay so that's one thing the fourth option um which is also catching up a lot these days is volunteering now volunteering demands time so if you have that do look into this option so what is volunteering it is basically um a barter system so what you uh, do is you go and tell them that you are going to give your time and in return of the time that you are spending on their business they are going to give you accommodation and food so your accommodation is covered your food is covered but you have to give your time to them now obviously they are not going to make you work like manual labor where you are working for 12 to 18 hours there is a set time wherein you have to work 4 to 5 hours in most cases and once that is done you will be free to do whatever you want so basically you travel you explore the destination you go to places and all of that 
you will have your saturday sundays free or maybe one of the weekdays free depending on how the business works now there are a lot of ways that you can find volunteering opportunities so there are a lot of companies that have these kind of volunteering opportunities so for one i know that zostel and hostel and has this kind of internship and volunteering opportunities so you can go check that out the second one is mantra surf club so i went there last month and they also have a volunteering opportunity so depending on the kind of skills that you have they will entrust you with the kind of uh, that kind of work so for example if you're interested in photography that's what you will have to do if you're interested in videography that's what you have to do if you're interested in swimming then you will assist guests and their instructors in uh, giving the best experiences to the people who have come there to learn surfing now uh, the one thing that you can easily do is to go to the face go to facebook and join this uh, group called himalayan volunteer program or Himalayan volunteer work something like that I will link it to the description box below now this is a group wherein um, businesses share their requirements of volunteer volunteers and volunteers also share their experiences and their skills so that business owners can reach out to them directly if they're looking for a volunteer and it works out pretty well so uh, so I did get three opportunities wherein I could have gone and traveled for like 15 days or one month to a place like GB Manali um, Rishikesh and all of that but I wasn't able to because of my own uh, prior commitments but this is a great group to be a part of if you want to start volunteering and the last option that I want to talk about and one of my favorites is blogging and YouTube now before um, you get very excited about these two things the one thing that I want to make clear is that it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to test your patience before it actually brings you the kind of money that you're hoping for so it does take time and it also might take some kind of upfront investment. So for example, if you're into blogging, you will have to buy a good domain name and hosting. If you're into YouTube, you will have to invest in a good camera, a decent camera at least, a tripod and a ring light. So those kind of investments are going to be upfront and the amount of money that you're going to be earn, earning in the first few months or maybe a year is going to be almost zero. So you have to keep patience, you have to work really hard and you will have to invest a lot of time into building these kind of um, online businesses, especially blogging and YouTube. And the last tip that I want to give you before I bid adieu is um, make a combination, mix and match, take up a combination of these and see what works for you. So for example, if you're a college student, you can take up volunteering and whenever you get the time, you can build a YouTube channel or a blogging or a blog or a freelancing business. If you're into nine to five, you can pick up a hybrid model and whenever you get time, you can, uh, you know, pick up blogging. I hope this video helped you out, guys. Do share it with your friends and family. Do comment below. Let me know whether or not it helped you out, whether you have any questions and I will love to answer them. And I'll see you next week, guys. And don't forget to hit the right icon below and subscribe to my channel. Love you.